This is a homemade rat cage made from a bookshelf. And it is a painted bookshelf. It has three floors on it. This is the bottom floor. This here is a door to open it. I on I untwist this like and open it. Like that. And this is something to help the rat get up to the next level. He got up to the next level, but he doesn't he seems like he's having trouble to get down because it needs to be more roomy for him to get down. But when he was down on the first level he he came out of the door here. Um, and this is kind of like I thought might be a little area for him like to maybe come out and I just give him a you know um, and it could be a play area or something. And this door here I take, take it. and to close it I just well, like this twisty chai thing. Um, this is the third level. Clyde is on the third level. And he currently looks like he's in a his box. Anyways, so how we made it was, first we painted the bookshelf, and then we took this, like, cabinet lining stuff and put it on the shelves for the flooring. It's wipeable, so if the rat pisses on it, you just gotta wipe it off. That's how cage is cleaned. Then after that, we, um used chicken, I mean, excuse me, rabbit wire to um, put for the bar or, you know, the um, cage. We put over the bookshelf and we used these doors from, well, we use these as doors, but these are actually from a bird cage and we, um, you know, well, it was pretty much a lot of work, but it was worth it in a way because the rats seem like they're happy in it, and, um, it's a lot better than their, than the old cage, so, um, that's pretty much the main thing, um, way we used to, we used to make it and I mean that's the stuff we used to make it. If you have any questions feel free to ask. And I'll just get a, give you a good view of it. That's the third floor. That's Clyde's condo in there. This is the second floor. Arthur has access to the second floor. And this is the first floor.